Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be painting the tongue tags on an Air Force One low. So we're going to start off with the white base coat. It's white mixed with Too Soft by Angelus. And we're going to start off with the white. That way we know exactly how the top layers of paint are going to stick and not bleed. Always make sure you heat set with Too Soft. So taping off the areas around the tongue tag helps me better because I can be a tiny bit more careless with the paint and where it's going. Um, I like to be able to make sure I get all different coverages all over the tongue tag and being able to go outside of the line, so to speak, makes it a little bit easier. start to mask the backside as well and of course I didn't get the camera adjusted down in time so you miss a little bit but nothing too crazy and I, I don't have any reason why I don't paint the bottom part of that tag um, I guess just to give it more contrast I'm not quite sure I just like the way it looks like this then we've got some more heat setting to help it dry so we can get to the next coat and one more coat of the orange here And another coat here on the back side. Then here I got a little bit of paint splatter so I just took a Q-tip and some acetone and touched up the edges. You got to make sure that you rotate that Q-tip otherwise you're just going to smear the paint around as it lifts it up off of there. So here comes the unmasking and basically what we're going to do is we're going to use our toothpick to clean up the edges on the bottom. And here's where we're going to apply the stencil. Um, we're going to make sure that the stencil is centered. You can also use the toothpick to measure on the edges. Peel off the transfer tape, heat set the sticker into the tag, and then apply our paint. What we're going to do afterwards is we're going to apply heat to be able to lift that vinyl up cleanly. And then we're going to use a toothpick to do any kind of touch-ups or anything that it needs in between to make that logo look nice and crisp. Here we're going to change colors and then touch up the rest of the text on the logo. And now we're going to start on the other shoe. Same process on this one, it's just going to be a different logo, different color. And then we're going to mask again. And if you look at the piece of tape, I take the tape and fold it over onto itself. That way it slides under the tag a little bit easier. And then I tape up to it. This logo was a little bit tougher with the stencil because of the small letters. So just make sure they all transfer to the tongue tag as you're peeling off your transfer tape. Adjust everything, heat set it just like normal. On this one, I laid down that base coat of white over the stencil. That way it can help reduce some of the bleed out that goes through when you apply the top coat. So as I apply the top coat with blue, the goal is to have the underneath or the letters and numbers to all be white. On something like this, the thinner you apply the paint, the more crisp your letters are going to come out because the paint won't bleed through nearly as much. Here you can see me using that toothpick to get on those tight corners and those tight edges that way I don't get any color on the areas that are supposed to be white. So here's where I start my second coat and my second coat is laid on a little bit too thick. Looking back on it I probably should have did that a little bit thinner but 
you see how it turns out here in a second. So as I'm peeling off the vinyl, you can see where the bleed through of that other color on top of the white is, but nonetheless, it still gives you a good outline to be able to go back and do your touch-ups. So we grab our toothpick again and start going over each individual letter to give it some kind of shape to where we can make our final adjustments to make the logo actually nice and crisp. Okay, so now we're going to start peeling our tape and see what we're left with. Make sure there's no kind of areas that we need to touch up around the tongue tag. Um, we're going to go across the bottom with our toothpick again, just to make sure that the tag looks as complete as possible. And here is our final outcomes of the BNSF logo and the Union Pacific 4014 logo. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Um, if you could do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I need to get at least 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That way I could change that link that YouTube randomly generates so people can find me easier. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Both of them are custom creations by Jmart. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.